All right, we are back with Dredge. And we've got a bunch of stuff to do today. Uh, I bought some explosives. We're going to go back in the cliffs here. I'm really hoping to complete this quest. Uh, wants a rotting conger eel. There ought to be a few living in the center of Gale Cliffs. Do we want to do that? Maybe here? Uh, either way, we're going to explore inside the cliffs a bit. They can only be found at night, though. Uh, oh god, took a wrong turn. Why? Why? All right, we'll break, uh, break through here. Blow it up. Boom. Okay, so we're just gonna explore around here a bit. Until nighttime. Uh, what is that? An altar breaks through the waves at the base of the cliff. Three crab like creatures are carved into it. The largest is covered in rocks and other strange shapes. Okay, I need three types of crabs. Research part, nice. Hey, there's wreckage over here. We haven't fully looted this wreckage yet. Okay, I believe it's nighttime. Let's see what we can see. Uh, this is interesting. This might be it. Hunger eel. Yes, it is. That's an interesting shape. Oh, that's a... Funky looking. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... ...carry any more of that. All right, back home. After this, one more. I'm really pushing it, though. All right, let's go back. We got the eel. Oh, we got a ways to go.
Okay, now I have to let this conger eel rot. Oh, that's a big ship. I like a pirate ship. Coming right towards me. Um. Yeah, I, I don't think he's... He wants to be my friend. Okay, this conger eel, we need to put it in the cabin. Uh, we'll store that, store that, store that. Store all that. We can sell the eel here. Okay, good. When I sold all, it didn't sell the uh, fish in my storage. Let's go to the floating dock. We can add more stuff to our upgrades here. In fact, we can finish this upgrade. Three new rod spaces. Heck yeah. Rest. Alright, let's have a look at our quests. Okay, we found two. Uh, artifacts for the collector. We need a tiger mackerel. Need to deliver a rotting conger eel. Okay, now I'm going to look at my encyclopedia and look at uh, crabs. Is this going to show me crabs? Maybe not. Maybe it's just uh, fish. The reason I wanted to look at crabs is because we need three types of crabs. For that little shrine. Uh, let's repair these and put them back out. sell that one. Maybe we can use uh, just one big crab and then these two smaller ones. Maybe that'll work. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try it. Let's go to the um, shipyard and repair. Our crab pots and everything. Then we'll put them back out there. Crab pot. There we go. Now let's see what we can see. More scrap. All right. Oh, there's more uh, rocks there we can blow up. Uh, where is he? 
causing earthquakes. Stonefish. Perch. Tiger mackerel. There's tiger mackerel. Can grab that tiger mackerel. Okay, let's see if this works. Three crab shudder, legs clicking into strange angles. Though long dead, some unseen power commands their corpses into action. Oh, okay. The crabs scuttle over the altar, disappearing into cracks in, in the stone. Suddenly, the rock splits in two, revealing a sunken chamber at its core. Uh, mouth of the Deep. A formidable cage with a vast gaping maw. Sure to swallow up anything unlucky enough to stumble into it. Oh, so it's like a crab, um... A crab pot. It's a special crab pot. Tiger mackerel. Gimme. Time to head back. Should we go through here, take a shortcut? Seems dangerous. Oh, great. Oh, I can hear him. I hear whispering or something. I'm going mad. I'm losing my mind. My lights are going out. This tiger mackerel in storage. You're going in storage. You, I can repair you. You're probably rather expensive to repair, though. Mm. Let's see. Repair all 74. That's not bad. Lasts for 10 days. Very nice. Alright. No, no, no. I want to go to... Cabin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm, okay. Let's go to storage. Now, I wonder... Okay, the conger eel is rotting. Is that stranger gonna accept this tiger mackerel if it's stale? I guess we'll find out. 
today we are going to complete two quests, or at least make progress on one quest. Uh, crab pot. There we go. Alright. This lady wants a rotten eel. She's getting a rotten uh -huh. eel. Here's the aged conger eel you asked for. Perfect. This will do wonderfully. I can offer you a small sum and thanks. A hundred fifty dollars added. Safe travels. Alright. I'll take it. Now I want to go, I think, here. Pretty much straight up. Straight north. A rotten mass lays down on the island, half hidden by the foliage. At its base, an old boat is cracked into. Look inside. Ah, uh, loot. Take it. I love loot. Now with those research parts, I think we can, um... We can get some more rod... Uh, more rods researched. Alright, buddy. Or still empty. There you go. Again, they rip into the flesh of the fish, drawing out its heart. It's consumed as quickly as the first. Almost fulfilled. They point to a fish on the final squirrel. This one is a snake mackerel. It's a coastal fish. Okay. I don't think I've ever found a snake mackerel yet. I might have to uh, explore some of the other islands. Can I fish here? Nope. Can't fish there. Make some money. Whoops. Sell everything. Turn to town. Um, yeah, there's no one to sell valuables to here. Alright, let's... Um, let's see what we can do as far as upgrades. Okay, that's it. We need more wood. Or lumber. Uh, how about research? Alright, we can get the two poles here. 
and then eventually uh, this pole, which will allow us to catch almost everything. Is there anything else we want first? Probably not. I don't care much for the pots or the nets. The nets aren't really necessary. They're nice to have, but the main thing is that pole. I want it. All right, now we need four, four research parts to get the versatile rod. Undock. And I think what we're gonna do is do a little bit more fishing today. And then we'll move on to the next area. One more. All right. That extra cargo space is uh, quite nice. Oh, there's the boat. Looks like it's moving away. Oh no. Can I make this work? Yes. I'm a genius. I'm a Tetris master. Alright, and in preparation for our journey, we will sell our fish, repair our crab pots, and we'll take a nap. Alright, now the next... Uh, the next area is the Stellar Basin. So there's probably some still some um, ruins here, some dredges we can uh, uh, dredge up, or some shipwrecks we can uh, dredge up, but um, I'll come back later and do that probably off camera. For now, I want to go to the Stellar Basin. That's where the next artifact is, and we'll probably stop at a few of these uh, islands on the way. Let's do it. It is west. Alright, we'll stop at this island first. A little bit southwest. I think that's right. Straight ahead. Let's see what's out there.
What are you? Tiger mackerel. Okay, not much on this island here. Oh, there's some debris. Maybe we can get some lumber. We do need lumber. Not nope, just a treasure. That's all right. All right, what about uh, this little island down here? I see something in the middle there. All right, now the problem is if we keep going at this rate, we're going <laughs> to we're going to run out of time. I'll check this out and then we'll go straight there. You approach a hood and figure Dirty gold robes obscure all features except a pair of withered and blackened hands. Hey, you look like the other guy. Fisherman. Beep. Calls. Respond. Their voice gurgles with the sound of fluids in their lungs. An answer. A red snapper. Sorry, dude. I don't have a red snapper. I'll come back later. What are you? Are you a red snapper? You might be. Uh, yes you are. Okay, I'm gonna give him this red snapper. I'll keep the trophy. I got your red snapper, dude. They rip through the throat of the fish and tear out its heart. It's in their mouth before you have time to process what you just saw. Another. A sacrifice. They point to another shape on the scroll. This one looks like a fang tooth. Abyssal fish. Okay. We're not going to get that one for a while. Uh, our lights are on, right? Okay. Um, I'm just going to head straight to the destination. Hopefully there's a town there where we can sleep. It is getting late. Is that a, is that a ref reflection? There's some red fish down there. What is this? Abyssal fish. Oh, okay. Let's, uh... Let's just ignore that for now. Yeah, there's more abyssal fish. Aurora jellyfish. Oh, stay away. Stay away from me. Oh, God. What? What? Yes, yes. Dredge. No, no, don't dredge. I thought that was a dock. Where's the town? Oh, I gotta keep going west. Oh, this, uh, this is a creepy place. Something slither slithers into your cargo hold. No, don't eat my red snapper. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Can I sell my fish here? Mm. Hey, you want to buy my infected red snapper? Alright, well... Now that I feel safe... Let's toss out these crab pots. Eh, 
And then we'll take a nap. No, no, no. Undock, not sleep. Alright, well, we found the traveling merchant. There's three other towns here. That's the Starlight Pontoon. Let's head uh, northeast. That's not normal. Nope. Okay. New plan. Don't sail over the giant abyssal demon squid. Coral grouper. That's a pretty fish. That's a... Uh, less pretty fish. Research Outpost. Laboratory. The laboratory is in ruins with the with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. What do you want to look? Or where do you want to look? Uh, open the cupboards. You check the cupboards. Got a research part. Alright. Uh, inspect the equipment table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, Not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuation to fort. Uh, look on the floor. You look around on the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large large uh, gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Smart. Another research part. Where do I want to look? Uh, that's it. Alright, how about generator? An old generator sputters and ticks over. Hmm, okay. Uh, I don't really have room in my inventory to... dredge all this. Oh, we got another... another message. We have actually uh, two messages now we haven't read. I'll... I will do that next time. Because we don't have much time left, and I want to... I want to get to this other town. Are these more unusual rocks? Yeah. The shapeless... rocks. Another message bottle. Got a fishmonger here? Nope. Uh, researcher. What's up, lady? Oh, um, I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, oh, yes, I thought you had the look. But a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I have not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help, if you had the time. I do. What do you need help with? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. Yeah, I saw it. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests on the center of the basin. I fled here and have been making do as best as I can. I had to leave most of my equipment equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. 
You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all of them. Gotcha. Coastal, shallow, and coastal. Okay, Aurora jellyfish, glowing octopus, firefly squid. Got it. Uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, okay, I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Ironhaven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year, or the year before, or the year before that. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? You probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society, and then, well, I was posted here by myself. Thought I would relish peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet. Out here, it's just machines. Well, you got some company there in the middle of the basin. It's, um, giant and tentacled and slimy. Maybe you're not into that, but, um, I don't know. Uh, what sort of creature attacked you? Well, I got the sense that it was attacked. It was attacking the research outpost itself rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I'd guess at some sort of octopus or squid, or an anemone. Uh, one of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while it was tearing it apart the front. There was a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. I was just there. Is there anything else? Have you noticed anything else unusual since you arrived? Now that you mention it, mention it I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She'd sent them to me while I was studying before. Before she... The researcher is quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I kept finding them among my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets, in my sampling tubes. They were letters I've never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were in her name. They were saying things. Talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Is there anything else? Are those the letters we've been collecting? The messages in a bottle? Alright, well. Uh, yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff to do here. We're going to go back to the research station, get uh, the stuff that she asked for. We've got to find a bunch of samples, a glowing octopus, firefly squid, aurora jellyfish, Presumably all that is around here. Uh, we have another mysterious stranger who needs a fang tooth. Alright. A lot of stuff to do. 